Cow. Cow. Welcome back, internet people. My name is Ryan. We're playing Skyrim. Yeah. If I don't fucking lose like four subscribers from that, uh, from that lovely display of, I don't know where I'm going. If I don't lose like 40 subscribers from that lovely display of intelligent dance music, then. What, you don't have some clever quip for me? Everyone else I walk past always has to say something to me. What about you? You have vanquished a great evil from Skyrim. You have saved this land and our very souls. No. Oh. Yeah, I did that. Long story short, if you're still here to enjoy this beautiful... What the fuck is that? If you are still here to enjoy this beautiful video game and the beautiful things that I say during the video game, then you are a true believer. A true believer. Look at the bullshit that's happening right now. Gotta pick some butterflies. Oh, look at all the butterflies. I love the butterflies. Blue butterfly wings. Blue b butterfly wings have been added to my inventory. Yes, indeed, those beautiful butterfly wings are in my inventory. Now, what is going on right now? Oh. No, thank you. Yeah. That's what I thought. Please tell me this cave is inside this waterfall. Hello, Khajiit. You have boots and clothes. And gold. Oh, you were trying to swim like a fish. You shouldn't do that. You're a Khajiit. You don't know. You don't know how to do that. Uh oh. Terrain. My worst enemy, worse than all the dragons in the land. Terrania. Hello, everybody. Yeah. Ow, fuck. Why you gotta be such a dick? Stop that. Stop that. Why do I have to have no aim? Oh, no. Stop that, I said. Stop it. That's right. You're gonna live like the Khajiit. Yeah, that's right. Okay, you too. I'm groping naked people again. They're almost. Well, this guy's not naked. He's almost naked. I gotta stop doing that. Oh, right. <laughs> Oh fuck. What did that do? Did that do anything? Am I dead now? Never should have come here. Oh god. Hello. Yeah. Hi. How's it going? Oh, you're right. Uh, you're just wonderful. All of you. No, I'm I'm really just a guy with noodly arms that runs around and uh shoots fireball at the things in the most dramatic of manners. Do you have a piece of the whatever? Or am I just am I just killing you? I feel like I should know what I'm doing here, but that I'm not a huge fan of that Ayla, and I don't pay attention to like 90% of the things that she says. Mostly because I'm pretty sure that she is propositioning me. Like she's wiggling her boobies and she's all like, Dag yo. Take a look at these. Chinese, Japanese. Dirty knees, look at these. That's offensive to multiple cultures, not least of which my own, because I'm pretty sure I am Japanese. Is that, is that, uh, no, that's, no, that's orcs. 
orcs are the ones that are no. Which which one was supposed to be on loot or for Japanese? Orcs, I think. I'm pretty sure it was orcs. A very samurai styled sort of things. I don't I don't know what's going on. Why am I why am I going to this house? There's a staircase. Let's go up the staircase. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Elk. Let's go up the staircase together. Oh gosh. I'm just going up on top of this hill. I can I can make it. Yeah. That's right, I made it to the fucking top of the mountain. Didn't even crash. That's right. Microsoft Flight Ref. Hello, Ayla the Skanko. I've been running interference for you around here. I don't think anyone's caught on to our little campaign yet. Well, yes, that's very good. I, I killed all of those people. Excellent. Looks like you've really driven them into hiding. Keep this up. We'll wipe them out yet. Yeah, okay. We can continue to do that if you want. And there is more work to be done. But I fear that Codlack's gotten wind of our recent efforts. He's asked to see you. My advice? Always be honest with the old man. But don't tell him anything he doesn't need to know. Sounds like good advice. You are a good person. I've been tending to the warriors of your Vasker for as long as I can remember. I can believe that, because your face looks like a skull already. Hello, my good friend, Codlack. I will sit in this chair with you. And I partake in your busy pie. Oh. Uh, I, I work for the honor of the companions. Lad, I know what you've been up to. Mind you, it's no business of mine what each companion does in the name of honor. Pie. But this sneaking around, it does not befit warriors of your standing. Ayala knows better, and so should you. In any case, I have a task for you. Have you heard the story of how we came to be werewolves? Have you heard the story of your pie? Skur said something about it being a blessing from her scene. Aye. That sounds like him. As in all matters of faith, though, the reality is more complicated than one believer would tell you. You know, I met her scene once. Twice, actually, if you count a past life in which I was a Khajiit. He didn't want to talk to me, though. The companions are nearly 5,000 years old. This matter of beast blood has only troubled us for a few hundred. One of my predecessors was a good but short-sighted man. He made a bargain with the witches of Glen Morrow Coven. If the companions would hunt in the name of their lord, Hirsin, we would be granted great power. I would hunt in the name of your pie. They did not believe the change would be permanent. The witches offered payment, like anyone else. But we had been deceived. Oh. So... What's the problem? Aren't you guys, like, pretty good now, I guess, or, or what? The witches didn't lie, of course, but it's more than our bodies. The disease, you see, affects not just our bodies. It seeps into the spirit. Upon death, werewolves are claimed by Hirsing for his hunting grounds. For some, this is a paradise. They want nothing more than to chase prey with their master for eternity. And that is their choice. But I am still a true Nord, and I wish for Sovngarde as my spirit home. Oh. So, you want to find a cure? That's what I've spent my twilight years trying to find out. And now I've found the answer. The witch's magic ensnared us, and only their magic can release us. They won't give it willingly, but we can extract their foul powers by force. I want you to seek them out. Go to their coven in the wilderness. 
Strike them down as a true warrior of the wild. And bring me their heads, the seat of their abilities. From there, we may begin to undo centuries of impurity. Yeah, okay. I can do that. Good. Now move quickly. And don't leave any of them alive. Talos guide you, lad. I know you're going to try and take that pie back from me. I'm just going to have to eat it all before you do. Nom nom. Yep. What are you going to do about it? Huh? What are you going to do about it, old man? What are you going to do? Huh? I ate your pie. I ate the whole fucking pie. And it was delicious. It was delicious. So good. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I ate your pie. Wait, so what's going on? Witches? All right. Hand over your valuables, or I'll gut you like a fish. You'll gut me like an Argonian? I'd rather die. And I guess that's your last request, fool. Never should. So, you want to give up? No. I have the ability to set you on fire at will. Of course, you have the ability to limbo. Oh, God. Every single day, I meet someone that's better at limboing. This place is bizarre. This country. Skyrim is such a strange place. Why does everyone know how to limbo? I'll open up a tome, a dusty old tome, and begin to read it. And it will say something along the lines of... Oh, what is that? It'll say something along the lines of... And on the fourth day, from the throat of the earth... The power fell down from the sky, and everyone could limbo forever. Oh, it's a cavern. Hey, witches! How is it going? Yeah, I'm just sort of wandering in, saying hello. How's the... How's the husband, I guess? You guys are husbands, aren't you? I need your head. And your claw and your feathers. I guess I can kill all of them for you. For that Codlack. He's a pretty swell guy, that Codlack. He was all like, kill all the witches, and I'll be like, how high? I have the same fucking fireball, you witch! Yeah, that's right! What are you gonna do now? <laughs> uh, what am I gonna do with all these extra witch heads? Seriously. <laughs> I'm just gonna have so many witch heads. See, the logical thing would probably be to not sever the head of every witch I come across. But to be perfectly honest, I kinda like it. Maybe I'll eat the face off. Ooh. Lol, stop. You're giving me a boner. Myself. Oh. Witch head boner. Witch head boner. Squish, squish. Ding. Dong. Witch is dead. Witch old witch. The wicked witch. Ding dong. The wicked witch is dead. You know, this would have been way harder if all of these witches were all like hanging out at the same spot and could all fight me like at the same time. I am so glad that these are antisocial witches. What if they eat together? I bet they do. 
wonder if they have like witch dinner. Witch dinner in which their heads are attached to their bodies. Yeah. Not anymore, biatch. Ooh. I want the taproot, but I'm too dumb to figure out how to cut it out. Oh no. Oh wait, 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 wait. Let's try this. Jesus Christ. Strongest wire mesh I've never seen. Ever. Well, anyway, now that I've sung a song from the Wizard of Oz, I think that should be the end of this episode. Probably at the end of every episode ever, but you are not that lucky, Internet people. So we will see you next time. Oh, gosh. This terrain makes me feel like I'm playing Gothic 3. Thanks for watching.